Hello and welcome. Welcome to today's discussion. Today I'll be discussing about the fuel injection in a engine. As you know, there are a many types of injection according to the type of the engine. It can be BMW or R&D, Surgeon R&D. So they have their different processes of fuel injection. And now the electronic injection has come with a new process of injection which controls everything right from the fuel injection to the exhaust valve opening and also the VIT rack. So in this lecture we will be discussing about the fuel injection and particularly in the subject of VIT that is variable injection timing. Now what is the need for this advancement of the ignition or advancement of the injection of the time, injection of the fuel? Because as the RPM goes on increasing, if we keep the injection timing fixed at all times, at all RPMs, the time available for the piston to go up and reach the TDC is goes on, time goes on decreasing. That means the fuel has decreasing amounts of time for it to get ready and start combustion and expansion. So that is the reason there is a need for giving this extra amount of time for the fuel which could be given to the which could be added for the fuel to be fuel to get ready and expand because what happens otherwise is that if it is maintained at the same time for all loads then at the higher speeds the by the time fuel starts to expand the piston will have traveled after the TDC further and further. So the peak pressure then acts on the larger and larger volumes and thereby reducing the amount of the mean effective pressure. It can be seen here. If we keep the injection timing fixed here, say it is normal, this is normal time, this is normal injection. Say if this is the normalization point, this one, if at all times the fuel is to be injected at this point, at low loads, the time available for this to the TDC is more than that which is available at the higher RPMs because then the piston is travelling at the higher speeds. So time available for travelling from here to here is less. So the fuel to get ready and to combustion and to start combustion and expand it also is reduced. That means at higher loads the fuel is injected, if the fuel is injected at this point, the less time is available for the fuel and by the time the fuel gets ready, the piston will have gone up to the TDC and 
traveled much and much lower. Or the piston goes on going down much and much at which point the combustion starts. That means the volume goes on increasing and our peak pressure as it acts on the larger volumes the mean and effective pressure goes on decreasing which then gives lesser amount of work done from the unit. So that is the reason a need for the advancement of the injection is made. So that the fuel reach by the time the fuel reaches by the time the piston reaches the top point, TDC point, the fuel will have got ready and started to expand. And some parts of the fuel is then also injected at the constant well, constant volume. That means at the TDC or near TDC. When the piston has just started to travel down. So that the amount of small volume can be neglected and it can be taken to be at constant volume. So this is how the fuel injection at constant volume and constant pressure they increase our efficiency of the engine. Otherwise the work done of the cylinder will go on decreasing at the higher pores. So this is this is the VIT rack up to about 40 percent it is normal it is, there is no change and at 40 percent to 85 percent it goes on increasing that means the fuel is injected at with advancement and after 85 percent to 100 percent it is then reduced because if we keep on increasing the advancement then the very larger volumes of the fuel will be ready at the TDC which might give the very great amount of pressures on the components of the engine and which we do not want. That is why after 85% the injection timing is not, not advanced but, but it is retarded. So we get this constant pressure. So in this way we are getting this much extra work done. VIT. So this is the benefit of variable injection timing. So in this way VIT helps us to increase the efficiency of the engine and how the proper combustion in the cylinder is achieved. Therefore saving fuel and increasing the efficiency.